Hey everybody, it's Angie and welcome to Hot and Flashy. Well, today's giveaway day, I'm going to announce the winners of the two Temp2 Air airbrush makeup kits. I did a review of the Temp2 Air a week ago and Temp2 was kind enough to offer me two full kits to give away to my viewers. So two lucky people are going to win the Temp2 Air kit. So thank you Temp2 for offering uh, the two kits to my viewers. I really love the system as you saw in my review last week. I know a lot of people are really interested in it. I got so many entries uh, here on YouTube and also over on my blog. So today's the day I'm going to pick the two winners. So I'll post the names of the two winners at the end of the video, but in the meantime I just thought I'd do a little demo for you to show you how uh, the foundation goes on, how you can use it as concealer, and then how to apply the bronzer, the blush, and the highlighter. So you can use this as concealer, so if you have any blemishes, as you can see, I have two nice big pimples there, uh, you can use this to conceal them. And so to do that, you're going to hold the Temp2 unit closer and pull back on the trigger a little bit farther and then just gradually pull the unit away until you have coverage just on those spots. So it's great for spot concealing. So then you move on to doing the whole face. You need about a three to four inch distance between uh, the airbrush and your face. So holding your hand up as a guide gives you a good guide. You hold the end of the nozzle kind of against your pinky, pull your hand away, and that is the right distance. So then basically you just pull back on the trigger. I recommend somewhere between a quarter and halfway. You don't want to go all the way because you'll end up with too wet and too heavy of an application. What uh, makes this application good is doing multiple thin layers and checking in between. Looking in the mirror to see how the coverage is, what spots you may have missed, where you need more, where you need less. So as you can see there is nice sheer coverage after one pass and so I'll go ahead and do another pass. And so with each progressive pass you get more and more coverage. So the important thing is to maintain the proper distance so when you go by your nose you have to pull it out a little further because of course your nose sticks out farther from your face. You have to keep the unit moving and keep moving in circular motions. Now a lot of people had asked me, you know, doesn't this spray all over your bathroom, all over your hair, all over your clothes, into your eyes? And as you can see, it is not getting in my hair. I purposefully wore this dark top so that you could see it's not getting on my clothes, it's not getting all over my bathroom. Um, when you're not pulling on, back on the trigger, there is no makeup coming out. It's just air. So you can have it running and nothing's coming out. It's not going to squirt all over your bathroom. It's not until you pull back on the trigger that the actual makeup comes out. And then it's in such a narrow um, spray array that it doesn't go all over the place. All right. I wear contact lenses. I spray kind of near my eyes. I try to kind of close my eye a little bit so that my lashes are you know, keeping the stuff out of there. Um, obviously some of it might get in your eye if you keep your eye wide open and spray it near there, but just, you know, use a normal amount of caution with that. And so then, as I said, stopping between each one until you're built up to the uh, level of coverage that you want. This is uh, the coverage I have today is with four coats stopping and looking in between. I find the foundation is a little bit too dewy and I prefer to powder it over a little bit. So I do that between doing the foundation and the bronzer and the and the blush. I pretty much just powder my T-zone and under my eyes with uh, the IT Cosmetics Bye Bye Pores HD powder. Alright, so then uh, the next thing to do is to pop out the foundation pod and pop in the bronzer pod. This one you just hold at the same distance and you just kind of contour your face. And then I make kind of a backwards three shape from my hairline into the temple and then back down uh, underneath the cheekbone. Then I take it and I spray underneath my jawline to contour a little bit there. And then going to the other side, you repeat the same process over again. So then once the bronzer is done, you pop the bronzer pot out and you pop in the blush pot. So I find that if you spray it from a higher up angle, it will get too close to your eye. And you know, you want some separation there between the, your blush and uh, your eye where it's just foundation in there. So I prefer to spray it from a lower angle to have it more blend in with the bronzer. So then the last step is to pop in the highlighter pod and then for the highlighter you can go a little bit closer like a two fingers length and just run that on the top of your cheekbones. I like to do it uh, above my eyebrows, down my nose, and you can even use it in the corner of your eyes to add a little bit of brightening pop uh, to your eye makeup. 
So I hope that little demonstration was helpful so that you could see that it really is not a messy product. Um, it's very neat and tidy to use. It does not get on your clothes. It doesn't get in your hair. I don't know how they do it, but it doesn't fly all over the place. Um, and as you can see after you pop out the pods, it's clean and you don't have to clean it in between. So you just go from one pod to the next. That's pretty much everything I had to uh, tell you about the unit. If you want to see a full review on it, if you didn't see the review where I announced the giveaway, you can link to that video right here and um, pop over there to see my review. Um, but for now, let me go ahead and announce the winners. I'm actually pre-recording this so that I can put it up on Friday. So I'm going to list the names right here. So if you see your name here, congratulations, you have won Attempt to Air. Uh, airbrush makeup kit, $240 value from Temp2. In order to claim your prize, please email me at the address you now see right here, and I'll give you the full instructions on how to order your uh, prize kit from Temp2. So thanks everybody who entered. I'm so sorry for all of you that didn't win, but now that you've seen the unit and you've seen what great results you can have with it, feel free to go over and buy one if you were waiting uh, to hear. It really is an awesome product. I'm actually, the more and more I use the makeup and then powder over it, the more I like it. So I'm really happy with the results I get with it. I'm very happy that Temp2 sent me one to have. Um, so I think this has been a great experience. It's been great working with Temp2. So thank you again, Temp2, and congratulations to the winners. So everybody take care and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.